Hello all and welcome back to another Mission Editor tutorial. Okay, so this time what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, Shelling Zone. So there's a trigger option known as a Shelling Zone where basically you can create your own sort of barrage on a target. Um, sometimes it might be useful in the sense that maybe you haven't got the artillery units with a range to reach that location, but for the purpose of your mission you still want to get some sort of artillery barrage on target. This is where your Shelling Zone can come in. So what we've done is we come down to the disused airfield just south of Cobolity and we are going to create our uh, trigger zone so what i've got is a lot of blue units just line the airfield just to see if we can get some stuff to blow up so what we need for this to happen is we need to make a trigger zone so there's our place a trigger zone in call it whatever the hell you want now and uh, we'll change it to about uh and we'll go a bit shorter than that so let's go 1000 and then what we're going to do now is we're going to come into our trigger options. I'm just going to set this as once, which means it will, basically it's going to happen immediately. Um, we can set a time more, or we can do it from flag or whatever. Um, however you need to set it up in your mission. But for this, I'm just going to do it once. I'm not going to have any time set up. It's just going to, actually, I'll tell you what, we will set a time up. We'll just do a time more of 10 seconds. 10 seconds neither elapse, and then we can then select and set up our shelling zone. zone and all we're going to do now is we're going to select the zone so this is the trigger zone that we named that we want our shelling to take place in i called it shell our tnt uh intensity basically so i'm going to set that at 0.5 that should be i'm just going to set that up as one and shell count is the amount of rounds we're going to have hit the target so it's set up as 100 we'll just leave that as 100 for now and what i'm going to do is i'm going to move some more of these into the zone like we set up, so after 10 seconds the mission should start and then shells should start dropping on target. Everything in the middle of this zone, all on the runway and then we'll be able to see hopefully if anything does get wiped out. Okay, so start the mission, 10 seconds later what we should have are shells impacting around the target area. Point to note, the bigger the circle, the longer the shelling actually takes place. So what we should see is 10 seconds time. We're starting to see all these vehicles hopefully getting peppered with uh, artillery. There we go, shells are coming in. As you can see, there's impacts all around the place, and it's happening quite quick. You'll find these, these barrages don't take long at all. And really simply, that is over. So, do we have any vehicles that are injured? No. So what we'll do then is we'll up the uh, ante a little bit. Back into our shelling zone, we're going to change that to, let's say, 50. See what the difference is. Obviously, I've placed a lot of armoured vehicles there. There's challenges to do tanks and warrior APCs. Fire vehicles. Once again, 10 seconds of the lapse, then the shelling will begin. Hopefully this time we'll start getting some damage on the targets. And there they come. And as you can see, we're starting to kill things now. So yep, as you can see, it does not take long at all for the uh, shelling to actually take place. Um, obviously from beginning to end of the strike, effectively, it's, it's a quick period. So what I would suggest is if you want a prolonged barrage, have a bigger area, but with uh, obviously more rounds. Because the problem with a condensed circle like we've done here is what you will find is it will start eating up your FPS and it will start killing your frames per second. Um, so yeah, so what we can do with this trigger is you can tie it in with scenery destruction, the smoke and fire effects to get something absolutely um, awe-inspiring in your uh, missions. But that's a really simple way to get some sort of um, artillery barrage on target and maybe use it as a turning point within your missions maybe your friendly force has moved on target there's an artillery strike and at that point they've got a bug out starts your second part of your mission whatever it might be but that's how a really simple way just getting them um, some shells to hit targets once again i hope that's helped if it has please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments for what you want to see next many thanks and stay safe fly safe goodbye